is kind of a um, intermediate update because as you can see the, uh, the electronics are in no way finished and I'll tell you a bit about that in a moment. So I've got the ETHD clone on, the inductive sensor, uh, I'm trying to run this off 5 volts. The LED seems a bit weak though so I may, uh, may switch to the um, 12 volt with a uh, potential divider on that people use. Got the ramps board at the back. Uh, none of these cables are routed properly yet. And got the power supply. Using these uh, crimped connectors on here. Uh, this is a much better way of doing it than just wrapping the cable around the screw. Um, makes it much more easy to maintain and change things and you get a more solid connection as well. Um, so the reason why uh, I've not been able to finish this yet is I'm having quite a bit of trouble with the z-axis over here. Um, the X and Y moves okay. Um, it's a bit on the loud side but this lead screw is um, is not rotating and just making a a binding noise. Um, so uh, I'll just put the camera on the tripod and uh, run a, th a few commands through Pronterface and I'll, uh, I'll show you what happens. So I don't know why the Z activated when I was homing X but you heard it straight away there. But as for the X and Y movements it doesn't seem to be any issues there. It's a bit on the loud side but I don't think it's anything major. So if you just move that out of the way and activate Z as you can hear it's very it's not good at all. Uh, there's no load on this. It's detached from the bed and it's a really uh, not good noise. Okay so that's what that does. I've tried um, you know swapping the motors for the drivers so um, it's not a driver issue. Uh, I've got them all running at um, 0.4 volts which is about an amp through the motors. I tried turning the Z up to about 0.6 volts which is getting towards about 1.4 amps. Um, don't want to go much higher than that really. Um, and all my settings in Marlin seem okay, the steps per millimeter. Um, so I'm thinking it's a, uh, it must be the motor, but if, if anyone has any ideas on how I can fix this, if you've had this problem before, then please do leave a comment in the description and, um, yeah, hopefully I can fix it and that will be for the next part, whether I have to replace the lead screw or not. Okay, so that's all I can really do on this now. Um, so hopefully in the next video it will be all up and running. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.